Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a review of the Platinum Prefount. Prefount? I honestly don't know how to pronounce this. Um, it seems to be a relatively or a very new pen from Platinum, and this is a really inexpensive pen. Um, th these are the first Platinum pens that I've ever bought. Now, I know that a lot of people um will say that the gateway pen into the fountain pen world is often the platinum preppy now here in the uk the platinum preppy goes under some other name and it is i wouldn't say it's difficult to uh to obtain but it's not a common pen it's certainly not one that most people tend to use if you go into any of the stationers like wh smith in the uk um you'll see own brand fountain pens, Lamy fountain pens, usually a Lamy Safari, maybe an All Star Vista, um, and one or two other pens, maybe Cross, things like that. But generally, the Platinum Preppy isn't a pen that you see in the UK very often. Um, so, therefore, I've never even used one. It seems strange I've been doing fountain pens for using fountain pens for over two years now. Um, and it's not something I've ever fancied trying because I actually don't like the look of it. So uh, anyway, saw an email from um, Goulet Pens, I believe it was, last week about the Platinum Prefount. And I thought, oh, I wonder what that is. Looked at it and thought, oh, is it, is, it, is in avail it is available in a nice range of colours. So I thought, oh, see if the UK pen retailers sell any. And as luck would have it, Cult pens here in the UK have the Platinum Prefount in the whole range of colours. And not only was it an affordable pen, they're having 12%, 10% off rather, 10% off at the moment on certain brands. And the Platinum Prefount was one of those pens. Also, I subscribed to Cult Pen's um, email subscriber list. Um, and they offered a discount code in that in email and it offered another 10% off the price anyway. So it was like, wow, this is really, really worth, you know, this is worth a punt. It's already an inexpensive cheap pen with 10% and another 10% off that. So I decided to take the plunge and buy some of these Prefount, Platinum Prefount fountain pens. So... Um, they also had an offer, which was also, you know, just really good. These pens, all of them, all the colours come with a blue-black um, proprietary ink cartridge. But Colt pens were also offering free ink with each purchase of one of these pens. So I bought four pens, so I bought four, so I got four packs of um, two cartridges for free. So it was a really, really, really good deal. So I had to take the plunge. Now I know that this is a fairly new pen and um, it's one that I don't know anything about other than it sits in Platinum's line in between the Platinum Preppy and the Pi... Uh, some other Platinum... Anyway, but I don't like the look of the Platinum, but I like the look of this. So I was very, very keen to um, to see what this pen was like. So let's have a look at what the actual packaging is like. Well, it's a blister pack, sort of. Um, all enclosed uh, plastic. Now here is the Night C version of this pen. Um, they all come with a blue-black cartridge. So you get one cartridge with this pen anyway in the uh, retail packaging. And these have the slip and seal caps so theoretically you should be able to put the cartridge in this pen leave it unused for a year and it will still write which is pretty amazing now i know that wasky squirrel has done some testing with the uh, slip and seal caps on platinum um, fountain pens and that was that was an interesting little test um just reading the notes here. Do not use other than writing. Okay. I'm not sure what else you might use it for. Screwdriver, perhaps. Don't know. 
Um, ingestion of cat will cause suffocation in case of accidental ink, ink ingestion. Drink water and consult a doctor. To avoid ink stain, make sure to put the cap on back, back on after using. Well, it's all pretty much the same sort of stuff. So, all of the pens I got come with a medium nib. So I went for that medium steel nib. Um, and there isn't really a lot else to say. Let's have a look at the colours to begin with. So, this is the Night Sea version. And if I open this up. Now, under the camera light, this is coming out as quite a dark blue, but it is actually more of a um, really deep teal blue, petrol blue sort of colour, um, which is actually really attractive. Now, it is very similar to this other one that I've already inked up been using called the graphite blue so let's have a quick comparison of these two pens which to be honest this graphite blue is looking an awful lot darker in fact it looks black here but it is translucent these are all demonstrated pens i'll try and um try and see if i can show you against a white background here now it's really really coming out dark so this is a true dark teal blue. It is transparent, so you can see the inner workings of the pen. So demonstrator fans, they have you covered. But if you don't like the really deep dark teal, then there is this Night Sea uh, version. And I can't explain to you because this camera is showing just blue. Um, but it is more of a uh, teal colour. I also bought one of the, let me just double check, this is the Dark Emerald. So this is a very deep greeny blue. So I do like these sort of teal blue colours. So <laughs> three very different colours, but theoretically they're all very similar. Um, and I did fancy one of the uh, rather fetching Vermilion Orange which is, I just fancied this over the red. Um, there is a red version of this. Uh, I think there's also a pink version. Um, but this is a really nice, rich, vibrant red-orange. So I haven't inked that one up, but I have inked these two other ones up, and I have been using them a fair bit over, the, uh, over this weekend. Um, and I've been very, very, very impressed. I mean, they do write straight out of the uh, straight out of the box without any issues. I'll just get the uh, just make sure that they are writing. Yeah, they're absolutely fine. Before I do a writing sample of these pens, so let's just do an overview of the pen before we get going. So on the top, there is a black what appears to be a black plastic insert. No, it is exactly the same. I'll use the green one as an example, to be honest. So you've got a plastic... Come on, focus. So a green sort of inserted cap um, finial, which I assume is glued in there. Clip, which is quite stiff, very functional. The cap with... The uh, nib width, 0.5 medium, platinum, made in Japan, and prefount painted on there, so printed on there. Um, there isn't a lot about it. It is a basic pen. Um, nice colours, translucent, bottom end of the pen, nothing special. Slight sprue mark in there where it's been injection moulded. So these aren't fancy acrylics or anything like that. They are plastic and, in my mind, rather cheap feeling plastic. These are not robust plastic pens, um, but they're certainly going to be more hard wearing than some of the really cheap pens. So the cap clicks on and off. Easy to do one-handed and you have a clear colourless feed. 
and the section. Now this section is very unassuming. There is nothing about it. It's round, circular, steel nib, no breather hole, you'll notice, and it is winged. So I'm guessing that these nibs will slide off and interchange. Um, the barrel simply unscrews and you push the platinum um, cartridge, proprietary cartridge into there. Now I've inked up this with the um, with the uh, green ink which I got for free which they are calling yep, green. I also got some other inks. I got some uh, blue black. Didn't realise that these actually came with blue black cartridges anyway. But I quite like blue black. I got the violet cartridges and also pink because I do quite like pink inks. Um, so let's have a look and see what these pens are like to write with. So, platinum prefound. medium nib and let's just write down the ink for you okay so decent enough green ink it's quite bright writing sample time medium wetness and these nibs lay down a great deal of ink um, to be honest I'm actually really quite impressed with the um, the fact that this is a true medium I was expecting a finer medium I've been using the uh, these pens over the weekend because I was really excited about getting this and um, and seeing how they actually write and they are good and what all I can say is straight out of the box um, I was impressed with these nibs because they are very very smooth in fact some people might find them a little bit too smooth because there is virtually no feedback I mean these really are zero pressure I'm not about to try to squeeze any line variation out because these are stiff nibs but they are very very smooth um so that's the green let's try the blue black cartridge on this rhodia paper i've only been using the uh these pens in my cheap um notebooks and i really really I don't like them for taking notes. So this is the blue black. And all I can say is that these nibs are identical. And I have had absolutely no hard starts, no skipping, you know, this, this thing, it, it 
writes and writes and writes. Um, really, really impressed. So smooth nibs. With virtually no feedback. They write with no pressure whatsoever and they are really, really reliable. So, what am I to say about the Platinum Prefount? Well, it definitely gets a thumbs up. Um, to be honest, I was really quite blown away with these, uh, these pens and the nibs. I'm not saying that these are world-class pens and you need to immediately go out and buy one, but if you're in the market for a very, very cheap, affordable, good quality pen which has an excellent writing experience then these pens are sh certainly should be on your list um i don't know if hang on, let's uh let's take out the orange one in a minute i don't know if you could hear eyedropper these because that is always the thing with the platinum preppy people love to eyedropper them and I am guessing that these would make good eyedroppers. Yep, this barrel is definitely one piece and it is sealed. These threads... Mm, it's probably worth a go. There is a sprue mark on there actually, it's not quite... Not quite perfect, so ink will possibly get past there. I would consider possibly putting an O-ring where, where, uh, where the barrel meets the section, <coughs> just to be 100%, well, <laughs> with an eyedropper, 100% certain, <laughs> to just alleviate any uh, risk of leaks. But I think a bit of silicone grease on there, and these would hold an awful lot of ink. And then you've got an eyedropped fountain pen. Um, what do I really like about the pen? Well, the nib. The nibs are excellent. Um, they're so smooth. No adjustment out of the box. I mean, these are very, very, very smooth nibs which don't have very much feedback. So if feedback's your thing, you might want to head down the um, fine nib route on this pen. It is available with a fine nib, um, but I prefer mediums and there we go. So yeah, really, really good writing experience. I should imagine for the price, these are going to be selling like hotcakes because it is such a good writer. Reliability, I think the slip and seal cap system, yeah, these are going to be good pens to take to work, carry around in a bag. Um, I don't suspect that the durability of these pens is going to be, you know, up there because this plastic is, it's, it's not thin, it's, it's good quality, thick. it's good thickness, but it's not going to hold out to huge amounts of abuse. Um, I should imagine that, you know, stick this in the back pocket of a pair of jeans and sit down, it's going to crack. Um, which, you know, I'm not saying that most fountain pens will uh, be able to endure that sort of treatment, but just, just bear it in mind, it isn't strong, nice acrylic, it is plastic, nothing uh, nothing remarkable about that, um, but for the price you're paying for this pen, it's the nib, the nib and the writing experience. So these are really, really good quality, affordable pens. If you're not able to get hold of the Platinum Preppy, if you're in the UK and you fancy a similar writing experience from what I can tell, um, then the Platinum Prefounts is the pen to go for. Fortunately, the branding isn't too obscene. Um, it is minimal. 
which is not something you can always say about the Platinum Preppy, which has stuff printed all the way up the barrel. Um, and yeah, do I recommend this pen? Absolutely. Uh, you could go and spend similar sort of money on a Chinese pen and not quite get this sort of consistent nib experience. Even Lamy, you know, I love the Lamy pens. Lamy Safari, not to everybody's taste, but here in the UK, it's certainly a pen that you're more likely to see over other uh, cheap, inexpensive pens. Um, and I find that the Lamy nibs sometimes can be good, but sometimes they can be pretty awful and they need tuning. To get this pen and to have it right like this out of the box with absolutely no issues whatsoever really lovely writing experience this is what you should be thinking of buying over a Lamy uh, Safari if, the, if you're only after a cheap pen it is really really inexpensive I mean I paid oh it doesn't tell me on here but it was it, it was something like 10 pounds and then with the discount and another discount and the free ink, you know, this this was a really, really good buy, each one of these pens. Um, so the Platinum Profound is definitely one pen that I would recommend. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative, useful, and helped you to uh, make a buying decision or not on this pen. And... Um, Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.